Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can build drops into your beats. Uh, first and foremost, we can ask ourselves, what is a drop? A drop is something that basically builds suspense right before the drums hit in your beat. Uh, these can be built into your intro of the beat, into the hook. Um, and in my opinion, there are three different kinds of drops that you can put into beats. The first one being pauses. Pauses are really a great, uh, a great way to, uh, you know, make the uh, make the drums basically come in real nice and fat uh, when the verse hits and uh, the second one being um, tape stops tape stops is basically that effect that you can hear when when uh, like everything sort of slows down and gives you that that sort of sound and um, the third one being effects and I'm actually going to provide you guys with a kit of effects uh, that contain rises and hits that will help your uh, progression in your beats and um, you can find the download link in the description of this video. Okay, um, to go back on the uh, three tutorials that we've done uh, prior to this one, uh, we've um, covered how to, uh, and let me just show you guys here what we built, and I'm sort of going off of that, uh, that same structure, uh, so it's easier for you guys to follow along. Um, you know, the first one we did was how to uh, build trap melodies, uh, second one was how to build trap drums, and the third one was how to uh, build slide uh, 808s or building slides into your 808s, and also like how to put an 808 into a uh, trap beat. So I'm going to put these three links here and give you a second so that you can go ahead and open these up in other tabs. If you haven't watched them yet, go ahead and do so. This will definitely help you out in, uh, in making beats in Logic Pro X. If you're a beginner, you know, I definitely recommend you watch these because it gives you sort of an over an overlook on how to uh, create beats in Logic Pro X. Okay, uh, for those newcomers, uh, you know, I'm glad you guys came. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, take a minute and hit that uh, subscribe and like button if this is helping you out. And, um, you know, I'll be sure to make more tutorials in the future. Um, so, all right, let's uh, continue on. The first thing we're going to do is uh, build a pause into this beat. And um, before I get started, let me go ahead and just let you listen to it. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of the intro and the, uh, the drums, the 808, and everything else that I built into this already. That was just a little introduction of uh, the beat that we built in the previous uh, tutorials. So uh, the first uh, one that I want to cover is um, is pauses, and pauses are basically you know where every all the sounds basically stop uh, right before uh, the drums hit. So I'm going to zoom into the section here into this uh, four bar. I'm going to loop this off so you could see this four bar uh, intro that we built into it. Okay, and I'm going to build a pause into it. Now the way to do that is by simply taking away. All right, so I'm taking away uh, just a quarter of a bar and I'll let you listen to it now. Okay, that is a pause in, uh, you know, a pause drop and it definitely helps in, uh, you know, in the progression of the beat and uh, gives, gives you that drop that you're looking for, okay? All right, the uh, the second one that I want to discuss is um, is tape stops, and tape stops are basically that. Uh, let me just undo what I did here. Tape stops are basically you know that thing that you hear when the uh, sound sort of goes like it slows down in time. Uh, it's the best way I can describe it. Uh, in order to do that though, what I'm going to do is um, basically take these four right here. Well, let's go ahead and. Uh, Put in another audio track, okay, like so. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, drop that one down, couple like that, yeah. And what we'll do is uh, right-click this and bounce this in place, okay. And you should be doing this uh, this tape stopping um, or this effect after you know you track everything out and i have another tutorial that explains on how to mix master and track out beats that you can watch here i'll give you a second to right click on that and open that in a new tab and watch that later on 
And that's a little more advanced, but you know, you could definitely go back to it at some point, just bookmark it for yourself. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, into this section now. What I'm going to do is take all of these here and just move them over a little bit so that I can give myself some space to work with. Okay, I'll just move that one bar over like that. I'm going to highlight these right here. I'm going to right click on them and bounce these in place. And you could do it the way that I'm doing it here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, in the uh, tracking out. Um, so anyway, let me just delete these. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom into these. Okay. I've left myself a bar here so that I have something to work with, uh, an area to work with. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, select the fade tool. All right. That's from this guy right here. Fade tool. Okay. I'm going to hit the command key on my keyboard and then click on the, uh, the mouse key and then drag over like that. Okay. As you can see, it got sort of a, uh, a bar that goes across like that, right? I'm going to right click that section that it just made and hit fade out. I'm going to do the same on the second one that we did. And I said fade out. I actually meant slow down. I was testing you guys. <laughs> All right. So I, again, I've chosen uh, slow down versus fade out. Okay, now on this one we had fade out, so we, we want to remove that fade. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Okay, it's on slow down. That's what we want to see. The errors that I'm making are helping you out um, because you want to you want to make sure that it looks like this. Okay, nothing else is selected. Just slow down. Same on top here. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is um, zoom out a bit. Select those that I dragged over by one bar and then put them back into place. Okay. And one note that I want to make is um, you can only do this tape stopping on uh, bounced in place waveforms, meaning you cannot do this with, uh, with MIDI tracks. Okay. So you want to always bounce in place what you want to tape stop. You can do that after the fact in your uh, final mix and master or you can do it while you're making the beat. All right, let's listen to this and see what it sounds like. Okay, I noticed here I made an error because it came in too early. So I'm gonna bring that to the fifth bar. Let's listen to that one more time and see what it sounds like. All right, very nice. All right, so now the uh, the third thing that you can add uh, to build drops into your beats are effects. And like I said, I'm going to give you guys a uh, sample pack uh, that contains some uh, some effects, some rises, and some hits uh, that you can build in there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly browse to that kit that I made you guys, and I left that on my uh, on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop really quick. Okay, drop effects. All right, so I have uh, four hits here and um, a few rises. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Go through them a little bit and uh, see what would fit to this beat. That one's kind of short. That's definitely nice. Let's go ahead and drop that in. All I'm doing is dragging and dropping it right into the beat, okay? So I'm actually not using the uh, EXS24 sampler like I have in other uh, tutorials. I'm just dragging and dropping that sound directly into uh, Logic, okay? We want to make sure that the end of that sound uh, goes right to the end of that bar, right? Right before the uh, the uh, verse starts. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom it a bit and then just go ahead and drag it like that. Zoom in some more. Okay, we can tell that it's not 100%. There we go. That's much better. Since that sound is pretty loud, I'm going to go ahead and lower it. And uh, let's see what it sounds like with the uh, tape stop and this effect in there. Nice. Maybe we can even uh, put the tape stop on the effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So remember, the way to do that is by hitting command on the keyboard and then dragging your mouse over that section. All right. And then you get that halfway bar and you hit slow down. You got to make sure that your fade tool is selected. Okay. If you have the pointer tool selected, that command tool, this is not going to work. Okay. 
All right. And again, you want to make sure it's on slowdown. I'm just repeating myself so that you guys don't have to, uh, you know, keep pausing and rewinding the video. All right, let's see what that sounds like. All right, that's a nice drop. And um, maybe uh, to top it off, let's go ahead and uh, put a hit in there, something that, uh, you know, basically blasts uh, the drum sounds into place uh, when the verse drops. Let's choose that one. I'm going to drop that right into the same section. And let's play it and see what it sounds like. Couldn't really hear that, so let's drop that into its own uh, audio section. I have a free one here that I used before, so I'm going to drop that down. And then drop this guy down like that. Okay. Let's see what that sounds like. It's a bit loud, so I brought the volume down. Let's see what that sounds like. Just to play around with it a little bit, let's see what it would sound like uh, with the effect and uh, and without the tape stops. So I'm just going to remove the tape stops altogether. I'm hitting Command on the keyboard. You'll see this sort of arrow pointing both ways with a bar in between it. And I'm just dragging them away like that. Okay, do the same here. And uh, I'm taking away a quarter of a bar for a pause. And I'm leaving the effect in, and let's see what that sounds like. Nice. Uh, we can also, let's say, just take away a quarter of a bar from that um, from that rise effect. Nice. And uh, maybe to top it off uh, with that hit effect, I, I can definitely hear a crash on top of that. So if you have crashes in your uh, in your you know drum kits that you've downloaded previously, just drop those in in the front of your uh, your verses. Uh, to give it a, a little more oomph, I guess uh, you could say. All right. I hope this video helped you out and uh, showing you how you can build drops into your uh, into your beats. Um, this request actually came from one of my subscribers. So if you have something uh, that you'd like to see me do in terms of a tutorial, uh, just drop it in the comment section. And I'll be sure to do that. Again, if you have questions, also be sure to drop those in the comment section. Don't forget to do all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. My name's CJ. I'm out for now. Peace.